Hey, what's up everybody? Ryan Hennessy here, Real Time Northwest. Uh, just wanted to do a little kind of insider view of, uh, you know, the lab, the bait lab of Real Time Northwest and how we go about placing our bait from production to photograph to website. So just kind of a little behind the scenes. It's not anything that's like done with a phone or quick or easy. It's a long process. I may just do it excruciatingly painfully wrong, but just figured I'd show you guys how it's all done. So for starters, got my daughter's uh, Canon 1300D EOS, uh, really nice camera. It, uh, it Bluetooths to my phone. So, you know, once I get the images I need, I just Bluetooth to, to the phone and go that route. So first off, let's grab a bait. This is one of our new magic uh, zappers that we just did. Nice little color there. Uh, what we go ahead and do is, you know, we got our nice fancy light box, you know, top shelf. Uh, as you can see, it's top shelf. It's full of dust. Uh, I have my daughter's mirror that uh, doesn't, she doesn't use anymore, so I stole it. And now I use it. And I uh, just want to show you guys, you know, how we set everything up. We just sit it here in the little, the little booth. And uh, usually when we have regular blade baits that are flat, we can just lay them on the bottom. But in this situation, you wanna kind of stand these up and makes it look a lot better. I take this little piece of plastisol there and use it as like a, a tool to stand up. And there you go, it's now standing up. So now we'll go ahead and pop open the camera. Get that bad boy going. And uh, we're ready to roll. There we go, we got our picture. So let's just say, you know, I do this, uh, you know, I did this the other day. So I did it for about whew, maybe 90, 95 different photos I think I took. Um, and uh, once I do that, I take the photos, I then uh, jump on my phone. Once I get on my phone, I Bluetooth the photos from the camera to the phone. It takes a, it takes a minute, you know, 95 photos took like 20 minutes or something like that. Once I get it to the phone, I then go on my website app, which is, I use Wix.com. Pretty simple, you know, company to use, very user-friendly. I then upload the photos from my phone to the Wix app. Stick around, we'll show you how to do it on the web, and uh, we'll go from there, thanks. All right, everybody, now I'm gonna show you how we uh, go ahead and, you know, edit our photos on the website to uh, get all the new images we just took in our little light box. Uh, basically, when you come in here and you want to select, say, Magic June Bug and Green Pumpkin shows up, the reason for that is inside our uh, website, we don't have that image updated yet. So let's go here to the zapper. Um, you'll see here, these are all the images provided. There is no image for the uh, Magic, new Magic color. So we'll come into our website here. We'll scroll down to the and Here's the, the new edited version here. Well, sorry, the non-edited version here. You can see here it's really dark and the lighting's just not great. We'll go ahead and kind of crop this. See this little mark right here? We'll crop this out. Okay, now we'll come over here, make some adjustments. We'll add a little brightness like that. Not too much. We'll lower the temperature a little, little get it a little cooler. You know, add a little color saturation to it, and bam, there we go, we hit save. Okay, now what we'll do is uh, we'll go add this to the site. So let me go up and add the original. I don't know if it's a little better, I'm just doing this a little quick. So we'll add that to the page, there it is there. Now what we do is we go into our <clears throat> product options here to connect some images. So you'll see like if you ever click on lava, you know, any one of these images here show up, the Mad Hatter. So we'll come down to Magic June Bug. Here's the picture we just added. We hit done, we hit apply. Now, uh, actually, let me go hit save. <laughs> so as you can see now, when you hit Magic June Bug, it shows this one up. Let me refresh the page since I just 
posted the uh, update. Now when I hit select and go down to Magic Junebug, there it is. And that's how we do it from start to finish. Thanks guys.